seriously. I don't think bangs grow. I think they hit a certain point of annoyance and then they don't go anywhere after that. So frustrating. Hello! So I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about, you know, some things that I didn't quite understand before having a baby. I admit that before I became a mom, there were some things I didn't quite understand. And I wouldn't say that I was judgmental of those things, I just really couldn't fully grasp it. You know, things that I would see moms talk about on Facebook, or I'd see mom memes. And it's really not a dig at non-parents, because I spent 33 years without a baby, and I considered myself really understanding and not judgmental. And then I had a baby and I was like, oh! I get it now. One thing I didn't understand was the whole showering thing. You know, I'd see moms talking on Facebook like, oh, I, can't, I miss showering, I want to shower. And I was like, let the baby down for five minutes, let it cry, and go have your shower. Like, it's okay, the baby, nothing's gonna happen to the baby. Now that I have a baby, I realize, yes, I was technically correct. I can put the baby down, Thomas can cry. Oh my God, these bangs. He will survive, and I can go get physically clean. I realize now the issue is having a nice relaxing shower. So, Yes, I can get clean, not an issue, but the baby crying outside of the shower leads to a very stressful shower. So it's the stress-free, guilt-free shower that is no longer a part of my life. Same thing goes for bathroom breaks. I really never thought I would be jealous of someone's ability to go spend 10 minutes in the bathroom if they wanted to. Sometimes he's great and it's not a problem, but other times when he's crying, there's just something so stressful about the baby crying on the other side of the door. And I now see moms talking about, like, as their kids get older, they still don't give them privacy. So now I think I kind of get it, and I do think that's going to end up being my future. I really, really wish I would have not taken those bathroom breaks for granted. Same thing goes for getting ready. I'm not going to get into it, but can I do it? Yes. Is it really fast and stressful? Sometimes, yes. Oh, I can hear him getting upset downstairs. Same thing goes for filming. <laughs> Cold coffee. I never quite understood, you know, when I'd see moms talking on Facebook about like really missing hot coffee or, oh, time to drink my cold coffee. Now that I am a mother of a baby who likes to be held for, I'd say, 90% of the day, he's more independent now, so it's like a good 10% of the time he's okay being alone. I have a particularly clingy baby. I realize that the issue, for me at least, is I don't want to risk spilling hot coffee on him. So I drink my coffee iced or I have to wait until it's kind of lukewarm. Same goes for food. I have spilled a good amount of food on his head while he's been sleeping on me while I've been eating. So the least I can do is make sure it's not going to burn him. I didn't quite realize when people post so many photos of their babies, I was like, we get it. But yeah, I, I literally have two full photo albums of Thomas. I'm working on the third one, and he is five months old. I did not 100% understand how obsessed you become with your baby's face, and how obsessed you are with like every little thing that he learns. I literally have photos of my baby's bald spot on the back of his head that are, that are in the album. I have developed these photos and put them in the album because I am so obsessed. I think it's the cutest little bald spot, and yeah, so I didn't quite grasp why moms and dads took so many photos. Get it now, I do. Those are some things I understand a little better now since becoming a mom. Thanks so much for watching.